Magenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. We've talked about early planting with wheat and, and the, the things we need to do there, but some of the other standard practices still apply, whether it's early planted wheat or not. So one of the things is starter fertilizer, seed place starter fertilizer. On average, we pick up eight bushels per acre on seed place starter fertilizer. Many growers say to me, I'm early planting, so therefore my starter fertilizer doesn't matter as much. That's wrong. That's not the way the data shakes out. When we look at the data, oh, so we get eight bushels on late planted wheat. We still get a seven bushel yield increase on early planted wheat. So we still pick up almost the same and it's a very valuable practice so it's just one of those things you still have to do and also think about the winter annuals that you can get control on the chickweed and the um, the wild carrot all those other uh, weeds that really cause us problems in the spring by the way one of the other management practices that I want to mention is if you get caught in a situation this fall where you need to get the weed in immediately you get the beans off the rain is coming you can't wait that's okay if you don't get the glyphosate on now, we actually have another process, particularly for chickweed and wild carrot. So Refine is one of those products that we can spray in the fall that has excellent chickweed and wild carrot control. So if the wheat gets up in the fall, in the past we've said, you're nuked now. You, there's nothing you can do. That story has changed. Put the Refine on in the fall. It doesn't hurt the wheat. It will control the wild carrot and it will have residual control even into the spring to take out the chickweed. And then, gosh, guess what? Now I can put red clover into wheat fields that have chickweed. The Refine has enough residual to kill the chickweed, doesn't hurt the clover, and suddenly, even with chickweed fields now, I can get my red clover into my wheat, which is something I haven't been able to do before. So that's a, a really cool advancement from that standpoint. So one more thought process for getting the wheat crop in the ground this fall and doing it right, planting depth. So one of those things that seems so simple, and yet in the spring, 95% of the problem calls I get are because the wheat is planted too shallow. Uh, occasionally we plant it too deep on the sands, but that's pretty rare. Make sure it's getting in at least one inch in the ground. You kind of target an inch to an inch and a half. Right now there's good moisture, no reason to go deeper than that. But if it gets dry, maybe we have to go deeper. We'll talk about that if it gets dry. At this point, if you have good moisture, you need to go an inch deep or an inch and a quarter. And you might ask why? Well, if you don't go that deep, your root system doesn't develop deep enough in the ground. There's no use going two inches because the root system won't develop deeper, but that one inch or inch and a quarter is quite critical to get those nodal roots down in the soil as deep as we can. And what that really does is anchor the plant so that we get maximum winter survival when frost heave happens next spring as it all too often happens in Ontario. So don't forget, seed place starter fertilizer, get your weed control done, use certified seed, and make sure you plant the crop at the right depth and likely that's an inch to an inch and a half.